So I think this is video four for week 12. And I'm going to cover, I think, slides 18 to 23. So like I said, um, you're going to get to that interview where if you're part of the hiring team, you're going to ask the candidate questions. And because we want the, the interview process to be reliable, we're probably going to depend on typical or standard or some usual interview questions that hiring teams and all different kinds of organizations have found to be reliable and give reliable answers or provide um, the answers that the candidates provide are, are reliable. So if you click through here, you're going to go to York University's website and you're going to see they're going to ask some questions, maybe um, fact-based ones to learn a little bit more beyond that credential on your, on your resume of being a computer programming technician. They might ask, tell me about some specific projects that you did. Remember, whenever you answer those questions, tell them about projects that relate directly to the skills that are required for the job. But what you're going to see when you click through that link, okay, so pause and click through that link, is that um, a lot of the questions are going to be behavioral or situational and ask about teamwork skills, conflict management skills, organizational skills. So you know this, so prepare your question, prepare your answers if you're a, a candidate in a job interview. So again, what they're trying to learn is if you are a good fit for the job, so even if it's tell me about yourself, make sure that you're telling them in a way that addresses um, and markets you for that job, shows that you're a good fit for that job, if this is when you're a, a candidate. Or if you're on the hiring panel, make sure that you're listening to hear, does that answer um, tell us that that person's going to be a good fit for our team? So like I said, most of the questions are going to be behavioral or situational. So pause the video here and uh, read through the information on this slide right here at the bottom. Okay, so you're going to tell a story when you answer those questions. And remember, you want a good story that's memorable. They maybe are going to be asking five to eight questions per candidate, and there might be four or five candidates. So you want your answers to, to stand out, to be memorable. So when you answer them, think about a story. It has a great beginning that hooks you in. Maybe there's a little bit of humor. Um, and it's got some rising act action, so maybe there's a raccoon involved. I don't know, but tell me something fun, or not necessarily fun, but tell me something that's going to grab my interest and set you apart from the other candidates. Please don't tell me about a time that you were a member of a group and nobody was pulling their weight, so this is what you did. You did all of the work, and therefore you met your goal and got the work done. Okay, so th that's not good, one, because I've heard that story so many times. And two, because I don't want you to do all the work if I hire you. I want you to figure out a way to get all the people on the team to participate. Okay, I digress. Tell me about a situation or a task that had to be done that required your organizational skills. So give me enough background to get me interested. Then tell me an action that you took, not the team, what you did to solve that problem because you have awesome organizational skills. And this is where you can pull in something that's IT related even. You can say, because I have excellent organizational skills and I use Trello, a project management tool, tool for many of my projects in school. Okay, so you're showing that you got organizational skills, time management skills, and you know how to use some project management apps. Then I was able to Da, 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 whatever it is that you could do. Okay, they're going to be writing that down because now you've identified that you've got some additional knowledge that you're marketing and showing off. Here's a sample story um, that you could use. This is pretty lame, but it gives you the idea of how to organize your answer. Okay, so now I'm going to end my video here and I want you to click through and watch this is about um, an eight minute video with people with Australian accents so how is that not fun and um, they give a really bad star formatted answer to an interview question and then one that's pretty good <laughs> 